All right. Hi, guys. This is Johnny Dollar, and I have the pleasure of having my friend uh, Gus GG uh, with us. It's the Johnny Dollar Show. Hello, everyone. Hey, Gus. Uh, welcome. Uh, good to have you. It's uh, so you're here there in Mexico City. Yep. How's the uh, how's the crypto art scene there? Are you guys building something? Yeah, sure. I mean, the crypto scene is growing. Uh, the crypto art, not so much that I'm aware. I've heard about a couple of projects, but now with a uh, with a crypto winter, I think they are mostly frozen. Gotcha. So it seems like the real heads, the real people, are really making progress, like you're doing over at Artoline. Uh, yep. why, why don't you tell me a little bit about Artoline? Tell the people about it. Sure. Uh, Artoline is a it's a we're a group of people. We are um, artists, designers, and developers, and uh, we were trying to jump into the idea of digital ownership. So we created this platform. Um, that it's focused for artists uh, to to create um, tokens that uh, that you can sell or trade. That's the that's the main idea behind it. Great, great. And uh, how can they find out more? Do you guys have a website? Sure. the the uh, The address is artolin.org. This is art o l i n dot org, and great. then we'll I'll see. Uh -huh. I'll put that at the end of the video. I'll put some links to it. Um, yeah, just and uh, cool, great. Artolin.org. So, how long have you been in the in the crypto space, or into crypto? Period. Uh, well, I don't remember when was the first time that I heard about Bitcoin, but the first time I started buying some, it was around 2014, maybe. Okay. And by 2015, I was already trying to invest in Bitcoin. Gotcha. So you've been around a few years. A few years by now. But actually, what, uh, what really got me very invested in the space was in 2016 when I started playing with Rare Pepe. Rare Pepe, the, yeah. The, yeah. The, the, one of the first crypto art projects representing Rare Pepe. This right. was the first... Uh, organic token market out there, like that really grew out of nowhere and, and gained a big market cap with no marketing, with no PR. It was like a, an organic growth of digital ownership for the first time. And this started in 2016, and I was a very early adopter of Pepe Cash. Got you. So Pepe Cash kind of propelled you, got you into crypto art. So it's got you into the Artoline project where you're helping artists, you know, put their put their art on the blockchain. Exactly. Great. 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 Yeah, it was kind of like a like like in 2017, by the end of 2017, we start we started um getting a more clear idea of what we would like to do with with this tokenized art uh, scene that, uh, that was growing. So we decided to build the Artolin platform. Great, great. And, I, and you, you've mentioned that you have a, a space where you work with some other artists in Mexico City. Yeah. Is that, uh, are you, do people come in to learn about crypto art or any uh, crypto artists passing through? Should they uh, get in yeah. touch? Sure, this is more like a cultural venue. Uh, it's called Casa Patricio. He's got a, a Facebook fan page that you can check out. It's it's Casa Patricio, just like that. And uh, we do all sorts of things. One of our most regular um, meetings is every Wednesday we have movie nights. And we, uh, like a group of people, come every Wednesday at 9 a.m. At 9 p.m., I'm sorry. And uh, anyone can bring a movie. And once we have all the movies at, at nine, then we vote. And the movie that wins the voting, we play it at 10 p.m. So okay. this is every Wednesday. But other than that, we make concerts. At least we make one big concert once a month. And 
all sorts of things, including Bitcoin meetups and crypto parties. We've done a couple. That we, we made three crypto parties last year. Cool. And it was great. One of, one of the, I have some crypto art down there. Maybe there you can see that's a, that's a famous painting of, from a coin artist. Well, this is a reproduction, obviously. It's a print. I'm familiar with it. I'm familiar with it. Yeah, this was the, the famous puzzle she, she created. And I think the, the puzzle was, was sold last year. She came here to our crypto party last summer. And she gave us this among other prints. Really cool. <laughs> no, it's great. It's great y'all are holding down, you know, the crypto art scene in Mexico City and, and helping build it. You know, I know you're traveling um, and you go to some conferences and present. Uh, as You know, so on that point of like things that are coming up in the future, what, uh, where do you see like the space or the industry going in the next you know, six months to a year? Like crypto art. Well, I think that will depend a lot in in um, what happens to 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 the to the market. If we still like, if the if the bear market doesn't end soon, I don't know if we are going to see too many new projects. But definitely, I think we will see we will see more and more crypto collectibles, either in Bitcoin or Ethereum or or um, EOS. I don't know which which one is going to be the 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 preferred platform uh, but for sure we're going to see more of that idea because it's a very powerful idea digital ownership i agree uh, digital collectibles mm -hmm. okay so you sum up crypt digital collectibles is the big thing for the next six months a year yeah no no argument here i, I would say that's big so what projects are you most excited about gus well i i guess anything related to that idea Right now, there's a lot of hype on Ethereum, uh, even though I'm part of the group that we are a little bit skeptical about the long run strength of those collectibles. I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, so I'm excited um, with anything that, that is trying to take this idea to the next level. And right now we are seeing it in Ethereum a lot, but also, uh, we started with Counterparty, that it's a second layer protocol on, on, on the Bitcoin, Bitcoin blockchain. So I'm also very excited about that protocol because uh, even though it's got some downsides, there's always been a little drama in that community and there are not so many developers, but I think it's a solid protocol and it might be very promising uh, for the idea of digital ownership, something that you... You, okay. you can own protocols and blockchains aside. What are you excited about, or what's any event or anything uh, more concrete than you know the whole protocol? Like, for example, any any particular events you're going to, any events you're presenting, any projects you got coming up. Well, um, you're going to be at the Rare Art Festival. Yeah, sure. I'm excited about that one. I think uh, it's going to be in May the 18th of May, as far as I, I understand. That's going to be an interesting um, uh, event because it's going to be in New York. It's going to be a sequel of, of an event that, the, that happened last year, in January of last year, where the first uh, crypto collectible was auctioned for more than $30,000. So that's like, that's like an important precedent. Uh, oh, yeah, I so, saw your eyes light up when you said that amount of money. Uh, yeah, thirty thousand dollars. That's not too shabby. Yeah, uh, I mean, for for a meme, for a digital image that you can just screenshot, like apparently, but obviously not well, in this case know, because it's a, I, it's a you and I, Hopefully, the people watching this uh, realize that it's worth a lot more because we're pr producing digital scarcity and rare assets, which you can't screenshot. Exactly. These are secured by the blockchain. You know, have some pride in our work, man. Sure, you know, sure. no, you know okay. like you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't screenshot, you screenshot consensus. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. I mean, I, 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 I was, I was, I was talking from the from the perspective of the of the of someone that is not familiar with these. Like oh, that's, I, the, I, I, that's I, the first question they do always do. But how come 
this have there's some value on this. You can just screenshot the image. Well, no, that's the thing. You can't. You 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 can copy the image, but not the token. And that's what agreed. Yeah, yes. that, that, that's what gives value to this new asset class. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. No, it's you know it's it's true. Digital scarcity is just the beginning. Um, we could talk about that at length. I mean, I, I firmly believe that, you know, uh, art is just one of the first iterations of this. You know, this is moving into so many levels. Um, you know, if, if you can make a image digitally rare and scarce and prove ownership and a trail of ownership provenance, you know, you can do that with an abstract thing like a, a mortgage uh, security or whatever, you know. Wall Street's watching what we're doing, but I'm actually excited about uh, the NFTs. I'm excited about taking them in new places and experimenting with them besides just images, but interactions and all kinds of good stuff. Sure. Um, all kinds of, you know, it's going to be good times ahead, Gustavo. So uh, are you guys presenting at uh, or going to the Rare AF Festival? I'm definitely going. Uh, I, 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 they haven't confirmed if um, if uh, exactly how are we going to participate because the whole event is still in the works. So uh, we don't know who's going to be speaking yet and so on. Uh, but definitely I'm going to be there. I'm going to be showing some, some art. Uh, we're going to be selling some tokens. So we're going to have fun. That's, that's going to be an interesting. I look event. forward to it. Mm -hmm. I look forward to seeing some of your art up there in New York, uh, May 18th. I look forward, uh, hopefully collecting some of your art. Uh, so artalene.org. Okay. Uh, you know, appreciate you coming on, answer my questions. Gustavo, I have one more question for you. This one's kind of serious. Are you ready? Sure. Okay. If you make it, if you make it to artist Valhalla and you can fight club, style fight any artist living or dead who would it be me well um from the from the sportsmanship perspective i don't know i think it would be interesting to to fight bansky <laughs> <laughs> uh, you might be fighting a, a group of people who knows <laughs> But, Probably, uh, yeah. Just to uh, just just to find out more about those guys would be interesting, right? Uh, okay, <laughs> throwing down with Banksy, uh, Banksy. Uh, yeah, very much. Well, respect and uh, thanks, Gustavo. Thanks for being on the show. Uh, any uh, any final comments to the audience? Well, I mean, just keep an eye on on the the crypto art scene, on the on the digital ownership and the and the tokenized art, because. Uh, I think is going to impress the world soon is probably the most or one of the most important use cases for crypto. Definitely. Oh, mm -hmm. well, great. Gustavo, thanks for being on the show. Uh, uh, keep making some art, stay rare and uh, take thanks, care, man. Thanks for being on. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.